Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a death screen that will show up whenever the player dies. So, let's just get right into it. So, before we start, what you want to do is go under the View tab and open up the Explore and Properties. After that, we need to create our actual, like, death UI. So, to do that, go under the Starter GUI, click the plus, and enter in a Screen GUI. Let's call this Screen GUI. Uh, our death GUI just like that and then what you want to do is go into the properties of the death GUI and then find the one called ignore GUI inset and just make sure that that one is checked after that you can go back into your explore and under the death GUI click the plus and enter in a frame let's rename this thing to something like the death screen just like that and then what you want to do is go under the properties of that and then find the size and then just delete all that instead we're going to write one comma zero comma one comma zero just like that so what that's going to do is it's going to fill the entire screen with your death screen so this is going to be the background of your death screen gui um, now i like mine to be black so i'm going to go to background color and just make it a black color and i'm also going to go into the background transparency and just make it just slightly transparent so it looks like this so once you have your background done, what you want to do is go back into your frame, click the plus, and we're going to enter in a text label. And let's rename this text label to something like the death message, just like that. And then over here, you can play around with how big or small you want it to be. So I'll probably make mine something like this. And then I'm going to put it in the middle, just like that. And then I'm going to go into the properties of it. I'm going to change a few things. For example, I'm going to make the background 100% transparent, so I'm going to set it to a value of 1. And then I'm going to go all the way to the text over here. And then I'm just going to change the color of the text to red. And I'm also going to make sure that the text is scaled. So right now, this is what the death screen looks like. Uh, don't worry, if your text currently says label, we will change that with the code. So once you have the layout of your death screen complete with a background and a text, what we can do is go into the death GUI click the plus and enter in a local script. Let's rename this local script to death handler. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and you can now write what I write. So we're going to start off with some variables. So local player equals to game colon get service. And inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and then we're going to write players. And outside the brackets, we're going to write dot and then local player. So this is going to get the actual player of the client. After that, we need to assign some variables to the other part of the player. So local character equals to player dot character and then local humanoid equals to the character colon wait for child and inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and we're going to write humanoid with a capital H. So this this variable is going to get the player's character. And this variable is going to get the character's humanoid so that we can detect whenever the player dies. So after that, we're going to write two more variables for our actual death screen. So local death screen equals to script dot parent dot death screen. And then finally, we're going to need one for our text label. So I'm going to call it local death message label equals to death screen dot death message. So that's going to be a variable for an actual text. So once we have our variables done, we can now write our death messages. So to do that, we're going to create a list and we can do that by writing something like local death messages equals to, and then we're going to put in a curly brace. Now, if you don't know where the curly brace is, just press shift and then click on the square bracket on your keyboard and that should give you curly braces. And then we're gonna go down the line. So our list now looks like this. And then this is where you're gonna add in your death messages. Uh, you can add as many as you want. Uh, if you do add more than one, it's just gonna choose a random one. So for example, let's say I want a message called you died. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a set of quotation marks. I'm gonna write in my message. So you died and then Outside of the quotation marks, I'm going to put in a comma. So that is all you have to do for one set of message. Now, if you want to do more, then all you have to do is go down a line and then repeat the exact same steps. 
So quotation marks, and I'm going to write my message. For example, maybe try harder next time. And then outside the quotation marks, I'm going to put in a comma, and then that's going to be another message. So you can add as many as you want. So I've added in a few. They all follow the same format, quotation marks, a message inside the quotation marks, followed by a comma. But once you are done with all of your death messages, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Uh, we can now work on a function that's going to display our death message. So we can do that by writing local function that's going to create a new function. And let's call this function on player death. And we're going to put in the brackets to make it a function and then go down the line. So under this function, what we need to do first is choose a random message from our list of death messages. So that's going to be local random message equals to, and this is going to be the death messages. And I'm going to put in a square set of brackets. Inside, I'm going to write math.random. And inside the regular brackets, I'm going to write one comma space. And I'm going to put in a hashtag and then I'm going to write death messages. So what this line does, it chooses a random death message from the list death messages. So after that, we can now alter the text on our death screen. So that's going to be the death message label dot text. And that's going to be equal to our random message. And then we need to make our frame visible. So I'm going to go down two lines and I'm going to write death screen dot visible equals to true. And I'm going to go down line. I'm going to write task dot wait. And here you can just put in the amount of seconds you want your death screen to you know, be visible for. Um, however, I will say that the death screen does automatically disappear as soon as the player uh, like respawns. So this number doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just going to put in three for now, but you can always change it. And then after that, I'm going to write death screen dot visible equals to false. So this is our function. So the last thing we need to do is actually call this function every time the player dies. And we can do that really easily by just going down two lines and then write humanoid dot died colon connect and put in brackets function. I'm going to put another set of brackets and then go down. And then we're going to call the function on player death just like that. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So this is what the entire script should look like. Uh, and the final thing we need to do is go back to our death screen and then go into the properties of it, find the one called visible and make sure that one is unchecked. So if you go into your workspace right now, you actually won't see it right now because that's what the visible property does. If it was checked, this is what you would see as soon as you spawn into the game. But we want it to be unchecked so that we can make it appear whenever the player dies. So now let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. Uh, let's say I was playing this beautiful, very uh, sophisticated game, and then uh, I die. So you can see right there, that's our randomized text message. Try harder next time. Let's say I die again. So it's going to choose another random text message, and I can keep dying, and it's going to keep displaying a death message every time I die. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.